Welcome to Bloodhound Care and Training Tips from www.trainpetdog.com. Bloodhound Training. Is it possible to stop them from baying? The Bloodhound is a breed of dog originally bred to track deer and wild boar. Because of its keen sense of smell and tracking abilities, the Bloodhound was adapted to track people and all types of animals. The Bloodhound is a large, short-haired dog that weighs from 80 to 100 pounds and stands 23 to 27 inches high. The short and smooth coat can be black, liver, tan, or red. The ears of a Bloodhound are long and pendulous, while the eyes are deep-set. The head is long and the body is deep and massive. Despite the large size, the Bloodhound is affectionate and even-tempered dog. Its friendly nature makes it an excellent family dog. Baying is one of the annoying behaviors a dog can develop. Baying is the low and long cry that dogs and wolves make. As hounds, Bloodhounds have a strong tendency to bark or bay loudly. Baying may result when a Bloodhound is aroused by children's activity high-pitched sounds, or some type of threat. A bloodhound may also bay if left alone for long periods of time. Baying is a natural instinct of bloodhounds, but these are things that you can do to mitigate it. Furthermore, you can teach your bloodhound when to and not to bay. Boredom is one of the reasons for a bloodhound's excessive baying. Bloodhounds are very energetic dogs. A bored bloodhound is more likely to bark and howl. Physical exercise and mental stimulation can tire out your bloodhound, making it less likely to bay. Exercising and doing activities with your bloodhound regularly will keep it active, happy, and less prone to baying. A bloodhound tends to bay out of loneliness of being left home. Make sure that your bloodhound remains entertained if you need to go away and leave it alone for long periods of time. You can do so by giving it dog toys to play with during your absence. You can also keep your bloodhound occupied while you are away by leaving treat-dispensing toys such as treat balls. Exciting activities such as playing, dinner, and walk time can also lead to your bloodhound's baying. Therefore, it is important to refrain from driving your dog into frenzy. When your bloodhound starts to bay due to excitement, momentarily stop the cause of frenzy until the dog calms down. This teaches your dog that exciting activities are not for baying dogs. Calm dogs are less likely to bay. Excessive baying can also be a bloodhound's way to seek attention. Ignore your bloodhound when it bays to get your attention. Giving it attention will reinforce its idea that baying results to getting noticed. By depriving it of attention, your bloodhound learns that howling does not get it anything. When it stops baying, praise it and give it some treats. This teaches the dog that staying quiet earns it your attention and tasty rewards. Instead of stopping your bloodhound from baying, you can train it to bay at the right occasions by teaching the speak and quiet commands. Say speak and trigger the dog to bark or bay by knocking on the door or wall. Once the dog begins to bay, say quiet. When your bloodhound ceases from baying, praise it and give it a treat. Over time, your bloodhound will learn that there are appropriate times for baying. No matter what the reason is, a baying bloodhound can be a real nuisance to pet owners and neighbors. Stopping this natural instinct may be out of the question. However, it is possible to minimize a bloodhound's excessive baying by using positive methods of training. Thank you for watching Bloodhound Training. Is it possible to stop them from baying? To know more about caring for your bloodhound, please visit the link below.